Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Gary. Um, I'm an eBay seller and Amazon seller based in the uh, southwest of England. So it's been a while since I've properly done anything. This is obviously a boot sale video. Um, Saturday morning, it wasn't a great one. I picked up a few little bits, so I'll show you all that. I'll also, while I'm here, <clears throat> show you around and what's gone on and it's a bit of a mess here. So. First things first, let's just get the boots off footage out of the way um, and show you a few bits. Wasn't much. I think I picked everything up off one stool. So, yeah, let's show you that and then we'll come back. It is 10 to 6 in the morning and I am at my first boot sale of the year. That boot, first boot sale since the end of last season. Um, oh, I didn't miss the early start, I tell you. So, I am at Green, Green Hill boot sale. Um, in Southwick at the moment it's very foggy there isn't many people this is the first time this one's open this year so we are going to see see what it's like and then uh, yeah so uh, I have got my GoPro I think I've got everything for it so I'm going to set that up and then I'll have a little walk around and see what's there so Don't you think you've got enough stuff? Yeah. We've got to start talking now. You're better than I. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is your radio? Um, John, how much for the radio, love? How much for the radio? Yeah, it's a special one. Is he fully working? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do eight? No. I told you it's from a month's headstone and they're bloody expensive. Uh.
Um, it's all right bits on it. Yeah. Some of it is partially sighted. Right. Yeah, I'll take them for a tunnel. <laughs> that started, I didn't think it was going to be worth it. <laughs> well, I think that I was <laughs> dead for about the first half hour, I think. Cheers, buddy. Lovely. <laughs> Boys might be kept over the year, won't they? This is only the first load. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Today's load. Oh, that's broken. Yeah, that's a broken amber bone. Oh, right. It's alright. It's just like this. It's only really like this. Yeah, they're just in that packet. That's it. And that. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't like the sound, did you? I did. Yeah, because they're, they're bone. Yeah, well, they're already good. Yeah, that's it. So I'm keeping them anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, that's right. You're stuck in it. No, and this is for a good course. You know, a good course. Do you want to do it, Anthony? I don't know. Do you feel a car? No, no, no. I need to get... I need to get... I'm just a Camera. It's an old film one. Panasonic one. Yeah, three quid. Yeah, that'll be worth that. Isn't it? What about your other camera over there? That's a printer. Yeah, much. <laughs> <laughs> On the lamp. Um, five quid on that, mate. Right? Because they, they do so well, then, Angle Boys. I've not seen these ones though. EPNS. I wish you one for that one as well, buddy. Uh, that's got to be a fiver. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. I've a lot of this stuff. It, it, it costs a fortune to buy them, doesn't it? You can't buy them new. And she's never used them really at all. Do so. seven for the two? Uh, eight. It's got to be eight. <laughs> it's got to be worth that. Yeah, that's it. Right. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, for the lamp, yeah? Yeah, you can make. Oh, so. Can you put spoons back, could you? Yeah, yeah, I'll put spoons yeah. back. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, he's a cassette recorder. Oh, it's a dictaphone. Yeah, a dictaphone, yeah. That's a dictaphone, isn't that yeah, one? Yeah, it's not a camera, yeah. Ooh. How much do you want for him? No, it's, it is a lot. Too good? Been right through it. Yeah. Headstones no, are dear. It's yeah, go on, I'll take him. Give him a, give him a try. It was 70s, 80s. I think he's just had the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right back. Cheers, thanks a lot. Lovely.
Never ever use that phone. No? No. What's that, that new she one? bought it just in case she went into hospital so she had a phone. But she never went. Passed away before she went. It's charged up. How much you want from? Ah, uh, it's got to be 15 quid, mate. She bought that. She really liked that. She took two pictures anyway. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a risk. This one is. Okay. This one's a big risk because if the ink's dried up, then it's it's dead. So, how much you want for? Talk to me. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Like I said, it's a risk for me. Fifteen. Oh, I can do nowhere near that. We are. I could do a fiver. It's, it's going to be 30 quid just for new ink. Come on. Yeah. As you see, I think I bought everything from one seller. It was five items, wasn't much, but we'll get into them in a second. We'll just have a quick look around first and I'll show you what's going on. Like I said, it's a mess here. Um, it truly is. I mean, I think the tidiest part is that and that even that's not not tidy. Um, I got all this on the floor. This stuff's going to the charity shop. I got stuff in here. These are things which have dropped off, like uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I know they've dropped off. Don't know why. Um, I've made a good attempt at this 
Um, I need to still do stuff on here. This stuff missing power adapters and pieces and stuff and it needs general testing so I need to go through this still which is my goal um, but I've got through a lot of this um, and I've completely reorganized my shelves so as you can see all of a sudden I've got space here and a fair bit of space here I've put all of the record players at the top um, all the gloves here fair old few of them still <laughs> They, um, they're not selling that grid. Hey, I have sold a pink one, a pink pair today. Um, they're at seven ninety nine at the moment with two ninety nine shipping. For a free item, I'm not too worried because they literally just go into like a bag and, and off they go. Um, so yeah, I've sort of consolidated things down, uh, moved things around. Um, you know, it's... Still got these bloody things, I don't know what to do with them. Um... A few cameras up here and stuff. Again, that only comes down to half a shelf now. Uh, some phone stuff and radio. Um, still haven't dealt with that Lego. I know I said I would. I haven't um, dealt with most of this. All this is listed, at least. Um, I've got some retail arbitrage stuff here. And a few bits at the back there. Um, yeah, I have been selling... Uh, more retail arbitrage at the top there. Miraculous, mir miraculous, miraculous doll. I don't bloody know. Um, you know, a few bits here and there. So, yeah, I have been getting through it, and I've consolidated all of the like the uh, DVD players and stuff like that into literally two shelves, which I'm quite happy with. So, yeah, I've I've certainly been going through and getting things listed. Um. And I've cleared a lot of the shelving, but I need to need to carry on at it. I need to keep up the keep up the momentum. I've gone through and I've redone all. Not work. Sorry, that's for in a minute. Um, I've gone through and redone all of my listings. I've I've changed pictures. I've changed listing stuff. Um, I've converted some things from free shipping to paid shipping. Um, you know, there and everything's on schedule now. Because if you didn't know, it's so good. Um, eBay now allows you to schedule listings free when you've got a shop. I think it's when you've got a shop. So yeah, free scheduled listings, which I have certainly been making use of. So every day, um, basically when I started, I put a hundred of my original listings back up, and then every day twenty listings has been going up for me um, from my old stock. So this stuff will go onto that train of stuff and I'll probably put, probably cut it down to about five or 10 listings a day or something so that I constantly have new stock going up and I don't have to keep on going into my drafts and doing that. There's no risk of the drafts disappearing as they have been known to do. So yeah, um, in terms of stuff which dropped off, not a great deal did. I think I maybe had about 20 items which dropped off. Um, I've, Put a lot of stuff to charity shops, and I've got ahead, gone ahead and sort of started dealing with stuff which I've just left for ages. And I should have done this during the winter, but I was so caught up with Amazon that I just didn't, and it's really bad. Um, so in some ways, I'm kind of glad that the boot sales have taken a little bit longer because it's allowed me to get on and, and do some of this stuff. Uh, but I've still a lot of work to do. So that's what I'm doing today. And the funny thing is, there's a lot of value here. There's, there's thousands in value. I just haven't done anything with it. Um, yeah, so if we go on today. So I uh, bought five items for a total of, I think it was £25. Plus a pound entry, so £26 in total. So let's just flip you around and go through what we got. So first of all, we got this Roberts uh, CD9979. And it's, um, it's for hard of sight people so they've they've like really done all of the you know um everything's bright and and yeah it's it's kind of cool um and you've got like the raised letter uh, raised signs so hopefully he's nice he's a dab one as well i'm hoping he's fully working i'm not sure how to eject the cassette so, oh. okay. 
I'm hoping he's working because he can't be that old. So I'm, 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 I'm really hoping that I don't have to do anything with belts in him. Now, I paid £10 for him, paid up. Um, if he is fully working with his cable, um, they look like, I'm going to sit down. It looks like they're going for about 40 to 50 pounds, depending on condition. This one's actually in quite nice condition. There is a bit of dust behind though, which I'm not a fan of, but it's it's not in bad condition. So I'm gonna ask 40 pounds for that one, uh, as long as it's fully working. Um, next up, we have got, go for the Panasonic. It's a Panasonic C2200ZM. It's a film camera. It comes with all its book and everything. It's even quite a nice, quite a nice little camera, to be fair. Doesn't turn on, obviously. I didn't even bother to check the batteries on here, actually. Okay, all right, that's not too bad. I actually think I have one of these. Yeah, I do have, I, do, I have one of these, so fingers crossed it will work um if that works that is going to go for uh, i think i paid three yeah three pound for this one because i got this one and the fuji film for eight pound so it looks like between 20 and 25 i've said 20 i think i've said um for my final totals because in this year i'm going to see about like rounding everything up and showing you profit uh what like what i could make for profit um Let's go to the Fuji film. I know, didn't have enough cameras last year. Probably, but... Um, so there's this one here, and I loved what they said. They said, oh yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's it's brand new. It's not even been used. It has been used. I don't care what anybody says. It's been used a fair old bit. Because um, there are some marks and stuff. But he's a nice-ish one. Um, and he's actually quite a, I wouldn't say a desirable one, but he's certainly not too bad. What's his memory stick we got in him? Oh, four gig. Okay, so that's quite nice. And the battery seems not too bad. Um, and I think I've actually got some NP45s anyway, if, if need be. And worst comes to worst, I can replace the battery without any worry. So, yeah, if he's fully working, it looks like, um, 40, 45, maybe a bit more, depending. I mean, it's got quite a few bits in the box, got his charger and everything. So I'm going to have to charge him up and have a look at him and make sure he's all working. But yeah, I've put down 40 for him. Might be a bit more, I reckon, in it. So that's not too bad. And I, like I said, I think I paid five pounds for that because... People just don't don't really think digital cameras are worth it anymore. And they are. Uh, there was another... What else was there there? There was something else there which I looked at and it just wasn't... Oh, a phone. I'd never heard of the brand before and I can't remember what it was, what it's called now. But there was a phone there as well, an old person's phone. I recognised immediately that it was for, um, you know, older people. And... They wanted 15 and unfortunately, brand new they go for about 50, but second hand they only go for about 25, 30. And if the battery was dead in it, it wasn't wasn't worth the risk. Uh, and I also am being a little bit picky for the first couple of boots, so that's why I still clear this out. Uh, next up I got a Sanyo micro cassette, a Talk Book Vass, whatever the hell that is. Um, its batteries have corroded, but it looks like they've leaked, but they haven't really done any damage yet. So that is easily cleaned, um, very easily cleaned. And then I will test that. It does not have a cassette, but I will probably rub the cassette out of that one just there. Um, and try it out. Hopefully the belts don't need doing. If they do, it's not too big a job. I think I have a, a load of belts which I can do with it. It comes with this little manual as well. Like I said, paid two pound for that one, and that one has about twenty pounds. Eighteen, eighteen to twenty. I think I've put down twenty. For, no, I think I've put down fifteen for this one. 
in my list. Um, and then finally, we have the Canon Selfie. Now, I never usually touch these because they're dangerous. But he looks in very good condition. It looks definitely like it's been used. Um, but he does look in nice condition. So I'm going to try him and hope that it works. I paid £5. Originally he said 15 and I, there was no way in hell I was paying £15 for this because, yeah, they're a nightmare. If they're not working, then it's it's spares and repairs and I sell everything off separate. I managed to get it for a fiver. If it's working, it looks like I might be able to get about 50 for it. Um, I think, I'm not sure what I put down for it. I'll, I'll go through the totals at the end. I did like a round total. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to go and test that and see if it works. So I'll probably print off a picture and see about it. I might include that in here. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, so we spent £26. Uh, expected total for selling all this before any fees, before anything, is 155 and that's I've done everything on the lower slide slightly. So uh, that leaves us with £129 there, once you take out what I've spent. Um, now, uh, for the percentage on what eBay takes, I've done 12%. Now, that's not the case at all in a lot of the categories. For instance, the cameras are 6.9% eBay fees, um, but I've done 12% just to do a blanket average because i'm not going through and checking every single category i can't be bothered with that um so 16 pounds ebay will take plus one pound 50 for the 30p um charge which they put on everything which actually adds up if everything sells for roughly what i've said it should be about 111 pounds 50 profit uh oh sorry the 12 percent i rounded up it was 15 something and i rounded up to 16 pounds so yeah um 111 pounds 50 profit roughly that's before we've tested everything before we've um you know sent out offers and, and all that sort of stuff um what was it you call it a spillage you know in case there's any damage uh, in post or things which aren't working or you know everything but yeah you know over 100 pound for I think I was there for an hour. So it's not bad for a morning's... Well, not even a morning's work. It would be a morning's work, actually. Um, especially the first boots of the year, which usually is very slow there for the first one. It starts to pick up a bit, and then just when it starts getting good, season ends. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to get on and work on this. I might include... 3CD. Demonstration CD. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's going to be um, copyright free stuff on there. Because if that is, I will keep this disc and I will use this for videos. I'll put some videos of the uh, things working on um, eBay. Because I've found videos actually work quite well on there. I might do a video into that at some point. Um, so yeah, what am I going to do tomorrow? Am I going to a boot store tomorrow morning? I don't know. Um, none of the ones around me are on uh which are outside because it is not looking great um west ashton the field's terrible apparently so they they cancelled that yesterday um lands down i read today on facebook that one's not going on so that leaves me with the indoor ones which is cheddar which is over an hour's journey and i'm not going all the way down to cheddar for a load of dealers um or standerwick which is on my doorstep so I might do Standerwick tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of it. It's a, it's a cattle market. Um, and it's got indoors and outdoors. But I'm not a massive fan. We'll see. Yeah. So if there is any footage of stuff working. I'll insert it. Uh, now. Hello and welcome to your Roberts Concerto. One of the most advanced audio systems available. Cool. With stereo, DAB, FM, radio. Radio. Anytime. But he did seek the love of fair Olivia. What's she? A virtuous oh. maid. The daughter of a count that died some... Got an SD. I haven't got an SD card. But I'm going to have to go on for tape next. 
Où étiez-vous J'étais au parc. That's not bad. And that is a picture of my wonderful wife. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. I was getting worried. It took it took a few minutes to get the um, picture coming through from the. Um, from my phone. But I tell you what, that's not a bad picture. I'm happy with that. Good. Okay, let's see if this one powers on. It did something when I put the battery in, but I'm not. So it does something. Is this? One of those ones which only turns on when it's got a thing in there. Because so when I put the battery in, it comes on. So I'm sus I suspect it needs to have film in there. I'll take a little bit more messing around with. Okay, so the tape doesn't work for this one, but it plays. Rewinds and fast forwards. So, yeah, uh, we'll give him a clean up. I'll see if I can find a tape for him, but he might be sold as, uh, you know, untested, maybe. So that's something. Cleaned him up quite nicely in there. He's he's not too bad now. And uh, just waiting for that. Should we see if the battery's ready for that one? Why not? Let's see if the battery's done. Enough. We don't need it to go for long. How does it go in? Not that way. That way. And then... Okay. English, yeah, whatever. Come on. Can't I just take a fake picture straight away? Come on. Okay. 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 Okay, whatever. Okay, that seems to be... So it needs a clean. It's a bit dirty. Oh, is he scratched? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I will catch you next time. Um, videos should be coming back out a lot more frequent now that boot sales are back on in my area properly. Um, I will be doing a lot more videos and getting things out. Um, I could have done videos for all of this stuff, but it was just so boring. I mean, I was, I ha I am bored to tears with dealing with it. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, videos should be back out at a normal pace. Um, this one's going to be filmed on Saturday. I'm hoping 
to get this out Monday, hoping. Um, I'm going to get this one edited tonight. I'm going to get the stuff I bought tested and photographed right now. I'm not leaving it because if I leave it, it will not get done. Then I'm probably going to work some more on this stuff behind me and then we'll see what happens. So, yeah. Um, thanks very much, guys. If you leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and I will catch you in the next one. So, yeah, it's good to be back.